Emerging Invasive Species Spotlight, Chocolate Vine. Chocolate Vine, Akebia quinata, is also known as five-leaf Akebia. It's native to Eastern Asia and is an emerging invasive species in the Lower Hudson area of New York. It was introduced as an ornamental plant in 1845. This perennial vine is deciduous but can be evergreen in milder winters. It prefers partial sun. Chocolate vine has a woody stem that's green when it's younger and turns brown with age. The stem is fairly slender. It has alternate branching with palmately compound leaves. Each leaf is comprised of five ovate waxy leaflets that are notched at the end in the center. The flowers are purple to red and they smell like chocolate. They bloom in March through April. The seed pods are purple to brown, but they rarely fruit. The seed pods have white pulp and small black seeds on the inside, and they mature in September through October. Chocolate vine is threatening because it is very fast growing, up to 40 feet in a single growing season. It's aggressive and forms dense stands that outcompetes native vegetation. It can act as a ground cover, as it's doing in this picture, or grow up and smother shrubs and trees. It's tolerant of a wide range of soil and sun conditions, and drought as well. It's an ornamental plant and can easily escape from people's gardens into natural areas. It's primarily vegetatively dispersed, but if it does fruit, it is also bird dispersed. The current distribution of chocolate vine as of April 2020 is fairly limited to Southern New York, but you can see that it's creeping its way north. There are a few options to manage chocolate vine. You can hand pull young plants. For larger vines, you can cut them and dig them out. But if you don't get all the root or if you don't apply herbicide, this plant will regrow. You could do cut stump or foliar with glyphosate or triclopyr. This plant has a waxy cuticle, so you'll need to use a surfactant to make sure that the herbicide penetrates the leaves. Thank you to our partners who made this possible.